Hello and welcome to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to learn English with wolves. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the idiom lose one's nerve. Jack wants to get rid of the kid, so he wants the kid to deliver the drugs. Nick questions him, saying, So the kid walks in and he gets shot because you don't want to do it? Jack answers, I don't do anything I don't have to, especially not that. Then Nick says, or you've lost your nerve. I don't do anything I don't have to, especially not that. Or you've lost your nerve. If someone loses their nerve, it means they become afraid or lose the courage to do something they were planning to do. In this scene, Jack is trying to avoid killing the kid himself. Nick thinks Jack is scared and doesn't have the courage to do it himself, so he accuses him of being afraid. Let's see more examples. She was going to give a speech in front of the whole school, but she lost her nerve at the last minute. I want to ask Jenny out, but I lose my nerve every time I see her. Tom trained for the competition for months, but when the day came, he lost his nerve and decided not to compete. Let's continue the lesson and look at the phrasal verb put someone under. Jack talks about June, the underground medical specialist, and says she is the best. He remembers an earlier experience when a doctor wanted to take his kidney and explains, my first guy, I came in to get a bullet pulled out of my side and he wants to put me under. I came in to get a bullet pulled out of my side and he wants to put me under. To put someone under means to give someone medicine to make them unconscious during a surgical procedure. This helps them not feel pain. Jack meant that his previous doctor wanted to make him unconscious to take his kidney. Here are some more examples. Before the surgery, the doctor said they would put her under so she wouldn't feel any pain. We put your son under with no issues and the operation is in progress now. John was worried about the anesthesia because he had heard stories of people who were put under and didn't wake up right away. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you next time.